How much money will you earn in your lifetime? In the U.S., the result is greatly affected by your family background, choice of major, the choice of college, even where you live. In order to figure out how much you might earn, you will need a pen or pencil, a calculator, and a sheet of paper. Put me on pause and go get what you need. I'll be here when you get back. With a beer. Welcome back! Start with two million. That's roughly the average you would earn with a high school education and a lifetime of hard work. Now I'm gonna ask you a series of questions, and every time you're going to add or subtract money accordingly. I sure hope you get rich, like I'm gonna be when my internet startup takes off! Booyah! Number one, do you speak fluent English? Yes, add zero. No, subtract 343,000. So here's what you need to do. If you live in the US, you wanna make serious money, learn to speak English already. Number two, describe yourself. White male, add zero. White female, subtract 425,000. Asian male, add 90,000. Asian female, add 70,000. Hispanic male, subtract 650,000. Hispanic female, subtract 450,000. African American male, subtract 450,000. African American female, subtract 330,000. Other male, subtract 320,000. Other female, subtract 240,000. Number three, did you attend college? Did not graduate high school? Subtract 750,000. Wow, that is a huge hit. Graduated high school? Subtract 400,000. Not always easy, but always worth it. Partial college education, subtract 150,000. Associate's degree, add 50,000. Now we're moving in the right direction. Bachelor's degree, add 600,000. Yeah, baby! Advanced degree, add 750,000. The difference between graduating high school and graduating college is huge. If you didn't graduate and you want to earn a good living, go back to school! Number four, rate your college. Excellent, add 500,000. Very good, add 350,000. Good, add 200,000. Adequate, add 150,000. Below average, add 100,000. Didn't go to college? Don't add or subtract anything. Is this all too general for you? Read the liner notes. Number five, what was your college major? No college, don't do anything. Yeah, you knew that. Add zero, or subtract zero if you like. Education, arts, psychology, social work, add 100,000. Public policy, communications, journalism, biology, agriculture, add 150,000. Business, health, physical science, add 250,000. Computers, statistics, mathematics, architecture, engineering, add 400,000. Time traveling through black holes and time warps. <laughs> no, wait, I made that one up. Number six, where do you live? You know, where you live really affects your earnings. Very upscale, add one million dollars. Wealthy, add 500,000. Upper middle class, add 150,000. Middle class, add 100,000. Lower class, subtract 50,000. Last question, number seven. How many years did your parents attend college? Add the total number of years for both of your parents. My parents did not attend college. Don't add or subtract anything. One year, add 50,000. Two years, add 100,000. Three, four, or five years, that did not graduate, add 150,000. Four or five years with a bachelor's degree, add 250,000. Five years or more with an advanced degree, 500,000. Almost done. Starting with two million, do your additions and subtractions. If you want to see all of the questions in print without my pithy commentary, thank you very much, consult, you guessed it, the liner notes. Anyway, calculate your total. And there you have it, your estimated lifetime earnings. If you're curious how that works on an annual basis, Divide your result by 45 years. Want to invest? Hey, just give me a call.